My job in the military was 31 Bravo, military police officer. My job today is to interview these five gentlemen over here and figure out who was in the military or not. Yes, yes sir. sir! Oh, yes, sir. My name is Daniel Garcia, and I was in the military. My name is Dylan Statham, and I was in the military. My name is Reggie Weber, and I was in the military. My name is Christian CV, and I was in the military. My name is Sergeant Stewart, and I was in the military. We'll do that again, and we'll sound off loud and clear with last name and branch of service. Garcia, uh, branch Army, rank Diamond Three. Statham, Navy, Private. Weber, Air Force, Sergeant. CV, Air Force, Staff Sergeant. Stewart, Air Force, Sergeant. Now, MOS. MOS, okay. <laughs> I just want to preface and say I love John Cena. He does a lot for Americans. <laughs> and nothing gets me more harder than the American flag. I also love John Cena, sir. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love John Cena? Stone Cold Steve Austin, sir. <laughs> I'm a jet main, sir. <laughs> Start off with our Air Force, our Chair Force guys. Uh, Why did you guys join the military? <laughs> oh, well, um, I was playing Call of Duty. Well, I mean, I was like, I'm like sick at Call of Duty, but like in real life, I don't like to run around and shit like that. So that's why I picked the Air Force instead. And then uh, for like, you know, so they pay for uh, college. I joined the military out of high school. I didn't really have money in my family, didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I wanted to take a few years, do something good, serve my country for a little bit, and then get to college. and figure myself out past that. I was a bad kid in high school. I drank a lot of alcohol, smoked a lot of weed, and my mom <laughs> made me go into the military or she was gonna disown me. I just started cranking 90s one day, sir, and I couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I got tricked. <laughs> <laughs> some what recruiter doesn't trick somebody. <laughs> exactly. Some guy asked me for my email, and I got an email saying, contact your local recruiter, and I did, because I was bored. I was also watching an ad on YouTube, and it's like, you know, military, Air Force, I was like, exciting, woo, Call of Duty. So, why not? He thought not? he was signing up for one of those free cars at the mall, like the exactly. giveaways, but it was like a fucking contract. Yeah. Oh, what? One minute workout. Do the Air Force people have to do it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let, let's have fun with the boys and just give them a, a, a quick taste of basic training again. Half right. Hey! Half right. Not full right, half right. Front leaning rest, move. Front leaning rest. Push up position, guys. Front leaning rest. In cadence. Down. Up. Bro, we all, our arms all fucking popped like we're 100 years old. That sounded like, sounded like a crypt opening. Down. Up. Of course. The Navy doing girl push-ups. Army, army. <laughs> You're making me look bad. Please don't. <laughs> this is too easy, sir. Yeah, I started. Make us work. Down. Hold. Hold. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway up. Hold. Fuck. It's been a while, All sir. Halfway up. Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> I feel like I've been <clears throat> fucking recover. <laughs> Who do you think here? It's just absolutely, you know, for a fact, has never even looked in that direction of the military. These two, wearing black. Oh, man. One day. Who do you think um, has been in the military? Guy on the very far end, possibly this guy in the white right here. I want your first letter of your first name in the phonetic alphabet. I was in uh, Delta Gamma Pi, sir. Dick Stick. <laughs> I can't think of it. <laughs> Charles. Charlie. <laughs> Charles. J. In, in the phonetic alphabet. John Cena. <laughs> oh, the first letter? Yeah. Oh, alpha. <laughs> first name is John. First letter is J. All right, Juliet. Gotcha. Oh, Romeo. First letter. Exactly. There you go. Oh, That's what it was. Everybody goes in and they come out with different varying types of music. I want to know from you guys your branch song. Can I get a little bit of snapping from my, uh, from my friends here? <clears throat> hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, 
But girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Yes, yeah, you, you do. do. Yeah. Times Square can't shine as bright as you. No, it can't. I swear it's true. It's so true. I sail the boats. Mm-hmm. I protect the moats. I love this land. <laughs> I love this land. I'll keep it safe with my right hand. Damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been working on the railroad. That was yours. <laughs> <laughs> did you not? Did, oh. No, our, uh, ours always played uh, a boom clap the sun of my heart. <laughs> Have you heard that one? I don't know what I've been told. What did you get told? My sergeant is getting old. And how many push-ups did you get for that one? A lot, sir. <laughs> Best day, worst day. Military. Best day, sir. I was in a 1v5 situation. Um, a long pearl. Um, <laughs> three points away from my ultimate. Got the... Isolated my 1v1s. Got three kills. Popped my knives. Watch this! Got the rest... And, the- uh, stop talking about uh, Call of Duty. I was in the sweet city of Honolulu. Uh, I was driving and uh, um, piloting boats all day from one end of Pearl Harbor to the next and doing tours all day. And it was beautiful suns and beautiful skies and it started to rain at the same time. Yeah, the best day for me was probably, I, uh, it was in basic churning. I ate like three bowls of Crave and uh, I, my stomach got really sick and then we had to run after and that was probably, then it turned into one of the worst. Yeah. As I said before, I was poor, and that's the reason I joined the military. My girlfriend, Ali, had to break up with me because I didn't have enough money. I joined the military with my friend, Finn, and I lost him in, in duty in battle, uh, and I came home. But my GI Bill, which is good, was enough to pay for my own house. I bought my dad's shed, and I converted it in, into a home for Ali. It was the perfect home. It was a home she always wanted, but she had to leave the love of her life to come be with me, which she did. We fought a lot. We always fight, but we got our house, sir. All right. See, my day could have been the best day or the worst day. It was the first day of BMT. It was 3 a.m. in the bus into Texas. And then, boom, they stripped us all naked. I saw a lot of penises, the most penises I've seen in my life. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, you, if you know BMT, you see a lot of penises. You know? Yeah. Meat gazer. And, you know, long ones, big ones, short ones. It could have been the best day of my life or the worst day of my life. So I could, you know. That Depending was on how you look at it when you're in the military. Exactly. Depends on the wiener. Mm. <laughs> Who doesn't like, you know, seeing a few wieners? And, and, and finally, at ease. And see, right there, I could tell he was in the military. <laughs> Because that right there scared the shit out of him. PTSD, sir. (laughs) We're going to use this uh, fun little item here to act like some sort of weapon. And these guys over here are going to try to show me their combat techniques of disarming. You disarm him. So he Get the foot down! Get the foot down! <laughs> and we're just gonna go down the line. Right. Dill, let me talk to you. You've been holding that thing all day, okay? Let me give you a break real quick. No. Your arms are shaking. No. Wait, what the hell is that? <laughs> God damn it. Gets me every fucking time, man. Go ahead. Grab it. Go ahead. Yo. <laughs> That's a Navy move. True. <laughs> Not true, sir. The Navy would have gobbled that all the way up. <laughs> Spit out the wrapper. I get corrected again. Please. So one thing I learned is always maintain eye contact. It gives them a second. Ow! You like that? <laughs> is this a short joke? Over here. Over here. I'm shorter than you. <laughs> Freeze. Boom, <laughs> so <laughs> no way. He summoned all, he channeled energy for that. You have to call out one person and then uh, have them ask you a question. Yeah, all right. We'll start with you. Down How was your MEPS process? Oh, MEPS was interesting. I, I went down, uh, I actually signed up uh, as an Army National Guardsman. So I signed up in Alabama. So I went down to Mobile and the day before and I was w- waking up at three in the morning to go into MEPS. The worst day because I gave up a lot, but the best because I got to make sure that this country stays free. Uh, where were you deployed to? I, unfortunately, I was uh, never deployed. I was uh, 
I did seven years in, in the military, in, in the Army National Guard. Uh, started off in Alabama, did a state to state transfer uh, because I joined while I was in high school, my, between my junior and senior year. So I uh, came back out to uh, California. I was supposed to get deployed in 2009 and they revoked my orders right before I was supposed to go. In your MEPS process, was there ever a time that you had to show an old man your butthole? Yes. <clears throat> It, 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 it's sad, but they, they have to sit there and physically look at everything because you are basically becoming government property. That guy either has the best or the worst job in the world. <laughs> exactly. Now, after being out, as you can tell, I'm in a wheelchair. So the VA has to pay to make sure that I can get around. Where'd you go on tour? Again, I, I didn't go overseas. I was... Uh, I, I did a lot of training to go overseas, and my tr uh, training was actually to be a uh, protective service detail. Um, is there like a specific person or like someone that comes to mind that like you met during your service that changed like that just like impacted you a lot? There's a lot of people that I met, uh, and you 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 probably understand this that there's a lot of people that you meet even in the civilian world, and you're gonna have the people that rub you the wrong way. And we're taught to respect the uniform and their rank. You do not have to respect the man that's inside there. When I was taught that, I was taught that in basic training by an officer in 07, I think he was. He was way up there. He came in and we were all in basic training and we were helping for the active duty guys. And we were all looking depressed. He said, you need to look down on your sh shirt again. And you see that your name, nobody can take that away from you. Look down on the other side, you're part of the US Army, something much bigger than you. Look over to your shoulder where your flag's at. Know what you're standing up for. So on one of my lowest days, I was taught that I'm doing something that's gonna live for a generation. So after all the questions um, and all the silly goofiness. I'm assuming you have an idea of who it could be? Oh no, I, I know exactly who it is. Oh yeah? You're told so much and it's become so, mu so much part of your life. It's something that never leaves you. And that's why it's like, when it comes down to it, the guy right there, down here on the end, he was in the military. Brothers, no brothers. <laughs> But, <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? You you you, you sit there and laugh. It, it's it's Respect, it, bro. It, it, it it is it. I I, I get that you're, you're. This is a funny video, but right now, I could tell that he was in the military because he's even sitting there trying to correct his buddy. <laughs> hey, this is hard. <laughs> so I have made my decision. I have uh, decided that the guy on the farthest end from me is the one that's in the military. So will the one who was former military, please step forward. Wow. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have a lot of family in military, so I just know a lot of stories, hey, no, bro. That, that, that's I look, good. I respect When you said Adiz, it I really shook did. me to my core, but I was already standing like this. <laughs> <laughs> but he went to attention, and I looked it up, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. It scared me. If you guys like these videos, um, mo sometimes on Sundays, if like we actually get the video done, then uh, we're but gonna post it on this channel. So make sure you stick around and uh, subscribe. Boom clap. <laughs>